It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Cheddar Ales and it's their Hard Rock. A light, very hoppy pale ale with spicy herbal notes and a floral citrus finish. 4.4% ABV and it's saying live beer, which in fact, yes, is a bottle conditioned beer. Uh, Cheddar Ales Premium Craft Range. Here's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Whoa. Carbonated little number, bottle conditioned beer, so sometimes they are a little bit temperamental. But look at that beer, even though it's a bottle conditioned beer, uh, you can't always predict what a bottle condi conditioned beer is going to do when you open it. But it's a lovely looking beer for a bottle conditioned beer. It's very clear, although it's got a great big head. Uh, it's, a, it's a kind of a, a lemony, pale coloured ale, but very clear, crisp as a bell. I like that about bottle conditioned beers because it's so hard to do. Uh, it's a white head, four to five fingers. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, it's difficult. It's a difficult one to get hold of because of the, the head. I do pick up a slight spiciness and a, a slight maltiness and a nice hop character. Like a lemony, grapefruity aroma. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Look at that. Do you know what? That is okay. It's pretty good. Though it's a bit of a mess at this stage. The more I pour out, the more it's going to kind of fall in on itself that that liveliness. You can actually see, I'm not sure if you can see it there, the amount of yeast in the bottle. There's quite a bit in there. Can you see that there? So, um, yeah, tasting wise, let's, let's be a little bit more assertive. I was just concentrating there on the, the foam flying out the end of the bottle. It's exactly how they've described it. It's lemony, citrusy, grapefruity. It's a nice malty beer. 4.4% ABV. You could session this all day long. It's a nice sweet malt, nice biscuits in there. Um, the beers, I remember trying their beers years ago and they were they were pretty good. They were pretty good, but they've, they've really kind of upped their game over the last few years. And this, you'd be very happy drinking this pint after pint, it's like liquid gold. It's nicely carbonated as you drink the beer. It's lemony and floral. It's then citrusy and grapefruity. And then it's got that lovely kind of sweet, malty, bready, biscuity mouthfeel. It's, it's, it's a really good beer, to be honest. It's really good. It's so tough to do. I know it's a it's a bottle conditioned beer. You can see it climbing up again. It's so tough to get it right. I bet 90 other bottles wouldn't do that because they haven't got the level of yeast in. I bet it's just this bottle. It's just, and it, and it happens. It does happen in life. But time for a rating then on the Cheddar Ale's Simply Gorgeous Hard Rock. Light gold, very happy pale ale with spicy herbal notes and a floral citrus finish. Yeah, it's everything, it's all of them things that they've mentioned. Um, I will I will have to take a mark away just for the, just for the way the beer was kind of 
is, I suppose, because it might be one beard, it might be it might be the whole batch. So I will take a mark away for presentation. I suppose you can call it presentation. It's not the the most ideal circumstance to 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 drink a beer, but then again, it tastes blooming good. Spicy, floral, citrusy, grapefruity. Yeah, a really nice beer. <coughs> Probably would have give it an eight if if that if it sorted itself out, if it, if it poured nicely and it was presented well, I would have give it an eight out of ten. But I'm going to give it a seven out of ten. I'm going to take a mark away just through the. The, the, the way it's just had a really big head and I've had to battle through to drink it and battle through to pour it. But there we are, 7 out of 10. That is the Hard Rock by Cheddar Rails. Thanks for watching, put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.